Hello and uh, good evening, I suppose I better say. It's about um, 10 past six, something like that. We went to Bexhill originally and the waves there were just grim and horrible. Um, we could have probably got out, but the breakers were massive. I didn't fancy snapping rods and neither did Will. So um, we've come down to Eastbourne, which I know is a little bit calmer, uh, generally speaking. And we're gonna go and try for an early season bass. They are here. Um, I haven't caught one out of Eastbourne yet because I've not tried. So we're just gonna go out, throw a couple of lures out, go till dusk, stretch our legs and uh, burn some calories and have a bit of a leg day. Um, conditions here are a lot more favorable than Bexhill. Bexhill, they were grim. I should have filmed it and I didn't. But um, yeah, here is actually quite flat, quite nice. Yeah, looking forward to get out for a couple of hours. So Hollywell Reef is where we'll be going. So we'll be coming out of here, chucking a west turn, and um, yeah, just seeing if we can get one or two. I'm quietly confident. So I think it won't take too long until one of us are in, but who knows? Anyway, I'm gonna get a kayak down there, get a dry suit on, life jackets on, all that sort of rubbish, and uh, see you on the water. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'll tell you how it has been a while. <laughs> Around in the water. Oh no! <laughs> well. <laughs> oh dear. How funny. Now that is why you should put your rod holders in a proper rod holder. To be fair, I just knocked it out um, as I was... Um, let's put that rudder down. Yeah, I just knocked it as I... Uh, as I've got the paddle up. Oh dear, that's funny. Right, well, we're on the kayak. It has been a long, long time. I think last time it was possibly... Ooh, I think it was pike fishing probably. Um, yeah, it would have been. It would have been pike fishing the last time we were on the kayak. It's going to be really weird having... This kayak's stable as anything and I really like it, but it's going to be weird swaying a lot more than the polycraft. Um, it's going to be a very different feeling. First things first, we're just going to get out past these breakers and, um, and we're going to attach a lure. A uh, deep dive lure we're going to use. And, uh, yeah. We're going to give it a go. Well, it's probably worth explaining why I've not been out on the kayak for so long. Obviously, those of you that follow the channel religiously, or even enough, will know that um, I bought a, well, I say bought, <laughs> I'm sponsored by um, Polycraft boats. Um, and I've got been given a 300 Polycraft puppy. And um, I've been using that a lot recently uh, on the water do a lot of my fishing um, and I must say I absolutely love it absolutely love it um, so that's one of the reasons second reason um, this year the small boats fishing page on Facebook um, has decided not to allow kayaks which I think is totally fair enough uh, people pay a lot of money to moor their boats uh, and a kayak can easily get anywhere launch anywhere um, and it's not trailers so it's just cheaper as well so um, you've got to get your species on a boat and obviously my polygraph is a boat so um, I've been using that a lot to get species the kayak love will never leave me so don't you worry I'll always own a kayak and I'll always get out where I can so the aim of today one to test the kayak um, make sure it's all still seaworthy um, so I've got my mate behind me um, two is to get out stretch our legs and three is to just attempt um, to see if we can get an early season bass. It's May, they will be around, but there's also a lot of May rot in the water, which doesn't help when you're losing lures. So at the moment, we've got two trolling two lures, one to the starboard side of me, starboard side, and one to the port side of me. But they're floating lures, so it means that when we stop, they, one floats to the surface while we fight the other fish, and it means we don't lose any gear. It's quite choppy today, I knew it was gonna be, Still a bit choppy, but perfectly manageable. Um, and as we're not anchoring and not going out far, a little bit of chop you, you can deal with. So, um, 
I'm gonna keep trolling, getting a beautiful little suntan, and uh, we'll see what we can get over the next few hours. Well, I think we had our first hit. Um, don't think there's one on now, but we're in 70 foot of water and these lures don't dive that deep. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure we had our first, our first hit. Saying that, we've got a little weed on, so maybe not. That is why you check them often, because if there's weed on it, you definitely ain't gonna catch, so we'll get that one cast back out again. So when you're bass fishing, that is exactly what you're looking at. I think you can see that on the screen there. Massive rocks, variations. Um, if you're at low tide, you wouldn't be able to fish this bit, because you'd be sitting on a rock. But there you go, all that rock. Deviates down to sort of 15, 10 foot. Loads of structure down there. And yeah, that's the structure that the bass are hiding in. Um, usually about June onwards is best here uh, from my previous years, but to be honest, last year I didn't do that much fishing here. Um, previous year I did and I had some really nice bass. Eastbourne tends to have the bigger bass. Bexhill has loads and loads of bass, but a lot of them are schoolies. I think it's more of a breeding ground up there. Um, so, um, yeah, it's uh, just a case of trying it a few times and seeing seeing if they're here or not. We'll have a good up and down for a good few hours. Um, got my mates over there. You might be able to see them over there. That means we've got four lures working. Um, and if none of them get hit, then I basically say they're not quite here yet in numbers. What a beautiful day to be out now though. Nice and sunny. Rods are out. The legs are being stretched. Kayak is getting its first outing of the year on sea, I think. Yeah, it's nice. Really, really nice. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Only a small one, I think. Will's just had a nice 46 centimetre keeper. Don't think this is going to be a keeper, but... Oh, what is it? This is not a bad, it is a little bass. There you go, little schoolie, woo! Excellent, that's two in the space of a couple of minutes now for both of us. Orky, Mrs. Muscles, you'll be glad to know I've just had a little schoolie. I think they're on the feed, over. Mrs. Muscles, here we go. <laughs> oh dear. Me and Will do have a lot of fun. Let's just get this one unhooked and show you quickly. Just a little one, this one. Caught on the same lure, actually, as Will's fishing. There's one hook out. And there's almost two, hang on. There you go. I said to him, just come a little bit further down, and uh, there we go. Not a big fish, but Not a big fish, but a little bass all the same. That's exactly what we've come out for. So target hit. Um, we've got a couple of more hours. So let's try and get a big one. Fantastic. Uh, you might be able to see Will's bass there. I'm just going to come over and get a few photos. Stay right there, William. I might knock you out with a rod, but at least I'll get a nice photo of you. Yeah, fine. Lovely. There'll be, there'll be a few. That's all right, isn't it? I'm very happy. Yeah, well done, bud. It was a good bite. Yeah. They're wicked, aren't they? Yeah. That's your first proper trolling bite, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, they're good fun, mate. Yeah, I think we're in. I think we might be in. It keeps. Oh, has he come off? If he, if he is on, he's tiny. Um, every time I put the lure back, he keeps coming back. But yeah, I think he's come off. I'll wind in just to make sure, but. We'll just had a bite as well, so they're definitely on the feed now. Yeah, it's got to come off, yeah. Ah, bugger, that's a shame. Oh well, keep going. They're here, they are here. Possible schoolie on again. I think we might have just missed it again. Ah, oh, what is it with me and missing these bites? Some of these are quite old lures, to be fair, and the hooks are a little bit dull. Um, yeah, that was definitely a bite. That's good news. We're still here. When you cast your lures out, 
try and get them as far out as possible. Leave the bail arm undone. Cool, we're only in about four foot water here, so we'll be a bit careful. Um, yeah, and then and then carry on. Got to be a little bit wary here because we're in very, very shallow water. Ah, have a good little bite there. Come on, bass, come on. Come to daddy. Is that bass on or is that weed? Very bassy bite. Again, I think it's come off. Yeah, he's come off again. Ah, oh, definitely got to change some of these hooks. <laughs> Lewis has been sitting in the box too long, that's what it is. What an absolute glorious evening now. I knew it would calm down, it was just okay, a case of mark, uh, quiet. Um, yeah, I know, I knew it would calm down, it was just a case of when. If we'd stayed at Bex Hill till sort of six, we might have got out for an hour and a half, something like that, but we'll do that another day when we can have a whole day. This, this is just stunning. I mean, the scenery's gorgeous. I've got the sun behind me. Will's had a keeper bass. I've had a little schoolie. It's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so peaceful as well. Really good for your legs, the, the kayaking. Oh, this is the life, isn't it? This is the life. My other half's shouting at me down the phone because I've uh, gone fishing again, but it is what it is. <laughs> this is what it is. Um, I can't sit in a house when there's beautiful weather to be had like this. Out on the sea, out with my good mate. Vitamin D shining down on me. Nice bit of exercise. This is what it's about, baby. <laughs> well, I don't know what you can see, but um, you should hopefully see a little bit. We'll bring the session to an end. Uh, Will's done quite well. He's had two keepers at 46 centimetres, and I've just had that one schoolie and a couple of missed bites. But it's been a lovely evening out on the kayak, and I must say, something I'm going to do a lot more of in the summer. Just after work, you know, little evening sessions for a hit, just a couple of hours. Really simple. You just come out of a couple of bits of kit, a couple of rods, and get on the water. Good for exercise, good for your mental health. And it's just so nice to be out here. You could be in the Mediterranean, honestly. Well, thank you for watching. It's only a little video. Sorry there wasn't too many fish, but there's a couple of tips in there, a couple of nice bits of scenery, and uh, yeah, a little update on to uh, how, why I haven't been kayak fishing for a while. But you'll definitely be seeing a bit of bass fishing on the kayak very, very soon. Cheers.